Uh, good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for a exciting game of chess? I am. Even though my oh shit, even though my move doesn't um, hint towards an interesting game because the French could be a pretty boring way to play if he exchanges, exchanges, which he does. This guy's a pretty annoying person. Oh yeah, for sure. Good move. Let's just develop quietly, nicely. He's gonna probably do the same. Bishop somewhere, bishop there, even here. I mean, what is here and there? Bishop e2 or d3. He goes for bishop e2. He's a conservative guy. Well, I, on the other hand, am gonna go my dark square bishop to f6, no, d6, I'm sorry. I'm expecting both uh, parties to get jiggy on the castling. Unleash the jiggy. And uh, yeah, let's just wait. Okay, now the game continues. Sorry for the pause and delay. How do I approach this? I always have a problem around this phase of the game because, I mean, you can still develop with bishop here. I don't know, rook there. What else? Knight there. Hmm. Let me think about this. All right. This doesn't work, I think. This is good. Moving it once. Uh, hmm. Uh, Let's try rook there first. I'm guessing he's gonna move his dark square bishop somewhere. Pin my knight on f6 with bishop to g5. Still, I mean, the same candidate moves are still there. Bishop to e6, bishop to g4. Play uh, c6. Start dancing with my knights. Dance. Get here. Then come here. Then there and checkmate. It's the name, name of the game, man. I don't want to weaken my king side by doing this. Uh, my opponents usually, and they play it correctly, um, after h6, they just retreat the bishop to h4. That will lead to some interesting positions. I mean, if if I pursue to uh, put that dark square bishop in jail, he might have the opportunity to sack. Because then his bishop still gets here, and I don't have these two pawns to defend my knight, my beautiful knight. Just play a simple move like this. What do you say? Bishop can be annoying, so I want to stop that. I am allowing him to take here, but my queen comes into the game. And uh, I don't know if this is so bad. It shouldn't be. I hope it. I hope it's not. Well, what happened to the people that hoped? They lost hope. It was a sick joke, by the way. Uh, it's a casual game. Worth noting, because I'm not giving it my full calculating capacities. If y I as you all know, uh, I'm not unleashing the beast yet. I have a uh, poorly developed queenside minor pieces and the rook. Not poorly, I mean, this bishop is still guarding all these squares which are nice have some pressure here yeah he's stopping that i i didn't even want to do that to be fair sacrifice is possible i mean uh so sack here and then i have this check here he has to go there and that's about it i mean it's not enough gunpowder power. So, 
sack. He takes back. Check. Can he block? No, he can't. He has to go. I no, he has to go there. It's a forced move. And then this rook can swing in. I don't have a uh, play. How about I start move? Ah, I can't move my knight. I have to maneuver it like one, two, three, four moves. I mean, it's so horrible, but then he, he surely he gets a better position and stops all my sacrifice shenanigans. Um, what else can I play? I mean, I have to go for some maneuvering with the knight. Uh, is blocked by the pawn on c6, so he can't go there. Moving it on uh, a6 on the edge of the board doesn't give it much future. Opt uh, to even uh, trade his light squared bishop for it, thus doubling these pawns, and then he can swing his rook. I don't know. So this doesn't seem like a bad move. Makes sense, you know. Uh, okay, that's a maneuver, I think, in order to start pushing this little fella. But he's not supported by any pawns on the e file. Will he open the the this, the position? I don't know. I'm not sure. What else is he gonna do? I mean, I could take here, and then do I have a do I have a check here? Ah. Defend like that. I think I'm still gonna go for this uh, knight maneuvering. I don't see any. M this is a threat, though. I could I could push Harry up the board, though it's attacked twice. So I think this is coming. But with this, I can trade it off w for my bishop. Or I could even move my my queen. Let's go. Let him play this. It's a good attacker, man. I don't want to get rid of my light square bishop. I've let him into my position. Can I move it here? Nah, he has this. Can I move m my queen to g6? The answer is no, because he simply plays uh, bishop to d3. Because it's guarded by the pawn here. So He wants to remove my best attacking piece, which I don't blame him for. Can I go for some knight e6 things? Threatening to take here. How is he going to defend that pawn? Knight to e2 does the trick, I think. But then then I can go here with my knight. Uh, knight to g5. Then it, it has a potential to at least deliver a check there. So let's go for this. I I I I believe my light square bishop is a better attacking piece, so I don't want to remove it. Remove it from the chessboard and uh, deny him the privilege of dancing. I mean, only knights can dance. That's the problem. Got a problem, light square bishop. Candidate moves for my opponent. Bringing his rook there seems pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I I, I, I expected this as, as before I played my knight e6 move, attacking him on the d4 square twice. He now defends it twice, which leaves me the opportunity to swing my knight to g5 or potentially, hmm, how about this? Is this interesting? Knight to f4? What does this threaten? It still has this threat of the check here. And if he trades, I bring my bishop here, which he can casually kick away. Uh, do I like this? Can he do this? This and then h4? Where does my knight go? My knight goes here, which is a pretty good square, I believe. Because now if he starts going ham with the pawns, I, I might have chances to exploit the weaknesses. Do I let him take that bishop, though? Let him take the bishop, my man. You know what? Have the bishop. 
I have good at like queen and knight are the best attacking duo in chess. That's a known fact. Plus this bishop is starting to get it, to become a beast. He doesn't have a dark sword bishop, so can't contest this. Can't swap it off immediately. And he'd have to waste like two moves to at least get here, but then I could just retreat and still keep an eye on this juicy diagonal. Uh, if he takes, I have to take with this, of course. Then the position is not so clear. I would say I'm the aggressor here. I have more uh, pieces closer to his king. I have checking potentials, even though they might not um, be huge threats at this point in time. Child in time. <laughs> Can I do this? No. Can I take on uh, g3? Well, then he recaptures f takes g3, unleashes a, a deadly attack on my queen. I don't like deadly stuff, so... What can we do here? What can we do here? I can't quite seem to break through on the other side. Knight uh, to e4. Uh, he exchanges and then we're at this I don't want to lose this knight though don't want to lose that knight though don't want to lose it move it or lose it swap bishops comes in with a knight can it be that bad <laughs> I just let his queen into the game I mean, my patience is starting to get a bit low. Can even come with a knight now. Mm. If he comes with a knight, I'm I still can't kick it because because of, of this piece of shit, piece of fucking bitch. Sorry, I I shouldn't swear. Yeah, he takes with that knight. Now my queen is under attack. Mm. Check here. Takes. Ah, oh, I've allowed this piece of shit. Can I move here? Oof, I don't know. Eesh. Oof. Shit. Check here. Takes. No, even with the queen. Just dead. <coughs> so, queen here. What does that do? Hmm. Keeps pressure on this. I have a battery now with a queen. Hmm. Retreating here is too, too fucking damn. I don't know what. Too damn shysty. You know what? Let's just play. Let's just play some YOLO chess. <coughs> uh, the thing is, he could just start trading things. I don't know, rook there? It's pretty normal looking move and he's neutralizing most of the threats here. And for now, pff, it's not a, not that big of a risk unless he like blunders with I don't know what move he can't blunder here I don't know if I still have the uh, opportunity to sack my knight there with a check after takes what do I have then nothing I don't have anything actually these two knights how can they be so strong like that positioned Oh my god. This is a nice tactical um, idea. Going with my knight to e4. If by any chance he recaptures. Then I have. Do I have pawn takes? No I have rook takes. And then I can double up. Which isn't that bad. He's thinking. 
oddly for an oddly long time I've got him in the retreat <laughs> I've got him thinking though that's good his nickname is Jimbo Elrod though Jimbo okay back to the game he played c3 oh we're all we're just on move 16 I thought we played like 30 moves Jesus uh, that's uh, a passive move strikes me as too passive <laughs> so still night there is my idea um For some uh, this 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 piece of shit doesn't let me mate him there. <laughs> if I go Harry Harry five, uh, he can just take. I mean, I remove the like, I clear the path for the queen, but then he just <laughs> does that, which is always annoying. So my knight isn't threatening much there. Let's try to exchange one of his stupid annoying knights. Stupid annoying. Now, as I said, I think I'm going to recapture with a rook. Potential of double up is always risky. And then I can even... Nah, I can't. Because my queen is on the way. I was thinking of uh, sacking my rook for this knight and then coming in with a queen on h2 and mating the guy. S see, th this knight is such a good defender. It's even at this point, if, th if the knight weren't there, I could mate him there. Can I mate him there now because he moves his fucking bitch? Is he stupid? He takes... Oh, he can't. Oh, fuck. What, are what the fuck am I doing? This rook is defending that. Mm, that's a piece of shit move right there. What's he threatening there? Nothing. Don't want to remove my bishop, though. I do in a pawn, I think, like that. Like this. Then he could pin my knight to the queen. So I think I'm thinking of just taking here. Fucking let him open that position, but then I'm threatening. Hmm? What do you guys say? You you think I should take? Yeah, I think that too. Uh What else? What else? What else? Nothing. I don't want to win a pawn, man. It's just play. Just play some games. Sure. Open up. I want a pawn like this also. I believe. Have I missed something? Mm, nah. Haven't missed a thing. Um. Well, I think I should take here. Because, uh, you know, my queen is under attack. I have this check here, though. Blocks. Hmm. And then takes... I don't know. Should I just take? Yeah, take first. Threaten check here. He has to move there. No, I can't threaten unless I take first. So don't get overexcited. I can threaten to win a second pawn with this. And then I'll take with the rook for sure and double up. I mean, I have two. I have one pawn for it. No, I will have this one as well, so two pawns. Two pawns, two park. Shakur. Told you this is gonna be a boring game. Who who exchanges in the French man? Ew. Ew. There are some sick lines where you in the French where you let um white take this pawn. It's called the poison pawn variation. He actually does he take two pawns? Yeah, I think he does. So something like takes and like your king is weirdly positioned somewhere there while you have counterplay on the queen side. He wants to trade. Don't blame him. Can I still do this? Still win a pawn, right? Oh, wait, does he want to mate me here? What a piece of poop. So that's, that's not even mating, right? So takes, no, I, he can do that, man. So I, I just want a pawn, I think. Takes, he can't take here. He cannot take there because I recapture with my bishop and I win a piece. So after this, he takes with a pawn and then I just take with a queen. 
Seems straightforward. Alrighty. We're gonna have to grind this game out. Grind grind down. Grind out. Hmm. Uh yeah, nothing else to play here really. Just win a pawn. Let's just win some pawns, pawns, and the bonds. The pawns and the bonds. Alrighty, he went for it. <laughs> it will it's 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 uh yeah, you know I have to move that's the only move let's see what he does it's actually pretty risky for me why do I miss stupid shit like this it wasn't a miss I mean I just yeah, just a pawn but position has become quite, quite risky I think bringing his uh, rook a to e1 is a good move it's a decent move we could play it then uh, oh shit he went for that why would he do that? I ain't sure though. Let's do this. He can't. I can't do that. You fucking dipshit. So can I go here and trade queens, and then play on on my one pawn advantage? I'm awfully low on time. So this, of course, falls for this, and this, and check of the mates. Hmm. Don't have anything better. Should have played rook to uh, rook a to to e e e one. Would have caused some havoc, wreaked havoc. Let's just pre move. I mean, there's nothing else I could play after he captures. Let's just not waste time. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I have this four versus three majority here. It's not so clear. It's probably a draw. Let's see what he plays now. I'm awfully low on time, so I might blunder very soon. Even positioning my uh, king to g8 is good. Uh, stopping any shenanigans, back rank shenanigans for now. What's he trying to do there? He's trying to stop me coming to the seventh rank. Let's just position my king closer. <sighs> and now I can even trade. I'd love to trade rooks, you know. Four versus three majority, I should be able to win that. Okay, he's stopping that, so let's let's do this as well. Hmm. He wants to take this. This guy is an annoying piece of poop. You know that? So this takes runs into that and he's a piece of shit man I have to move this before moving the other rook can I at least draw this I mean he has 1 minute 15 seconds I have 30 seconds on my clock it's getting boring for me even this game stupid game oh my god I hate this guy just pre-move that I ain't giving you my pawns, my my man, my bitch. Wow. Fuck this guy, man. He could have gone for the rook there now, but he wouldn't have traded, I think. Because he's a piece of poop. He's playing on time. He wants to flag me. There's a six second increment, though. Oh my god, he's so annoying. Get the fuck out of here, man. Even if he trades, it's bad for me because I've let him behind. Oh my god, it's bad for me. I have to take with the king. If he recaptures. Fuck it, man. I can't allow him. Just, ah, I'm allowing him still. I don't know, man. I, I fucking hate this game. Stupid, boring game. Should I take with the king? Get closer. God, he can attack all of my pawns now. Oh my gosh. 
this fucker. Yeah, fucker. I'll defend you, bitch. This guy got me angry. What the fuck is he doing? Useless check. It's not useless. Because <laughs> still snatch some shit. My rook isn't good here. His king is stupidly annoying, guarding that square on the seventh rank. Uh, he has 20 seconds on the clock. What does he do? Oh, okay. He's letting me do shit. Ah, uh, should I go for this pawn here? He goes here. I take. Mm, Yolo, man. Like I don't know. I don't know. Stupid. Let's go back. Ah. <sighs> to get close with my king and attack his bitch. Maybe this. What a bitch! This this guy's piece of fart. Does this do this? Now I can come here with a check and grab some material ah bitch is running away let's go I still fucking own that shit shit go ahead grab that I'll grab all your shit get the fuck out of my face you wanna advance this one hmm or you wanna go in between my pawns what do you say what will it be my nigga one second on the clock. Hmm. How should I approach this? Like this. I should approach it like that. I think that's the way, the, the correct way to approach it. Don't. And I just won on time. This guy got what he deserved. Deserved. Oh shit. That might have been unintentional. Uh. I'm tired. You guys can go fuck off. 